The difficulty I have with creativity is that I like to make so many different things, and that is art journals, cards, and canvases. I also noticed that those who only create one type of projects, like only cards or only art journals, they buy specific products, like stencils, to fit a certain size, and that can get so expensive. But I want to show you that size doesn't matter. We can adapt any size stencil to fit any type of project. And the great thing is, is that I'm collaborating with my friend Ardith today, who will also share amazing ideas with the same concept. So we know that a small stencil can be easily used for a card background, like I'm doing right here. I take my pointed starburst stencil and ink over a regular card base with two shades of purple distressed oxide ink. You can leave the inking as is or take it one step further and splatter some water while the stencil is still on. Then you just add a sentiment and voila, you're done! For another amazing small stencil technique, you can emboss through a small stencil like I'm doing here with my snow flower and snow helix stencils. I daub some embossing ink all through the stencil openings and then emboss it with gold embossing powder. When I heat emboss it, it creates a resist on the cardstock. So when I spray the background with two shades of distress sprays, I'm able to wipe off the excess spray from the embossed area as it resists the gold. I love the combination of blues and golds, and you'll soon see what I do with these two snowflakes in two different types of projects. But what happens when you want to use a big stencil for cards? Some of my stencil designs are 9 by 12 inches, so they are perfect to use in art journals or canvases, but for cards, they might seem daunting. Let me show you what I mean and how to fix that. For example, for my art journal, a large stencil covers the whole side of my journal, and even if it doesn't fit across both pages, I can still move it around. Usually though, I like using a partial pattern on my journal, so it looks more distressed. So I take my Moroccan tile stencil and use my embossing dauber on both sides of the journal with the same technique I used with the snowflakes. Then I heat emboss the pattern in gold the same way as before to create a resist. Now here, instead of using sprays, which you can definitely do, I blend some of the same two colors of Distress Oxide inks around the gold pattern. I want to emphasize that it's not only stencils that you can be used across many niches, but products as well, like inks, sprays, or even paints can be used on many different projects. So if you're like me and create more than one type of project, then you're getting your money's worth. But even if you only create one type of project like cards, I will soon show you how using large stencils can save you a lot of money. To make the background more interesting, I sprinkle some water over the oxide inks because I love that effect. Then I wipe off the excess ink from the gold, which makes it look more shiny. You might be thinking, well, that's great. You can use a large stencil in a journal, but for card making, it's way too big. But in reality, a big stencil is one of the best solutions for making cards, especially if you're making more than one card. Take for example my Starburst Tile Stencil. Instead of inking it on a small card background, I take an 8.5 by 11 cardstock and ink all over it. Here too I could just create a partial pattern, so it looks more distressed, but I didn't want to do that because I wanted to add more to this pattern. So before removing the stencil, I place my uneven geometry stencil on top of the first one and ink the pattern with a darker color. This is called a double stencil technique and the pattern looks so amazing when I lift both stencils. Here is where things get easy and trust me, I did not invent this technique. You can take the big pattern sheet and cut it into four pieces. You can even cut the patterns further so instead of making one card with a small pattern stencil, I made five cards. And remember those two snowflake patterns? I cut around them with my scissors and glued one of them in my journal because small stencils can be used as focal points for our projects. And for the second snowflake, I sliced it into two and glued each half on a card background, which I mounted on gold cardstock. No matter what size stencil you buy, you can use them on any type of project. 
and my friend Ardith will show you some more amazing techniques in her video right here, proving the exact same thing.